So today, we're going to go from this look here to this look here in DaVinci Resolve. G'day, how you going? I'm Drew from Gringo Productions, currently Saturday night in Australia, and uh, making this video for some reason. I guess I have nothing else to do, so that's what you do. You make a YouTube video. Anyway, that's exciting. This guy hanging out next to the window, you can download this clip. It's raw. It's uh, 4K. It was shot on the Blackmagic Pocket 4K, which makes a lot of sense. And it was shot on a Nikon F-mount 35mm. I just bought that lens the other day. It's quite a nice lens, actually. It's got a really nice look to it. So make sure to jump on the website and download it. If you like things about color grading and editing in DaVinci Resolve, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I would very much appreciate it. Anyway, enough for all that rubbish. Let's get to the grading. All right, so in our first node, there's a couple of things that we want to be careful of. One is we don't want to go too dark. The second one is we've got to watch these highlights. They're already blown out. Let me push this little uh, window open. Oh, window Venetian blinds. Side note, Venetian blinds are probably the worst thing ever made. So I'm sorry if you're the person who made Venetian blinds. They're a bane in my existence. Anyway, so let's watch those highlights. And the third is, um, I don't think there is a third. Let's just have a good time. That will be the third. Alrighty, so... First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to bring down some of this brightness. So in our gain wheel over here, let's bring it down a little bit. Maybe to about 85 looks pretty good. Now, let's bring our overall brightness down by using this offset. And about there looks pretty moody. That looks pretty great. Now I want this to have a nice low contrast milky look to it. Let's take some of that contrast out. Maybe that's a little too much. And about there looks pretty good. And that's still a little bit of curve in the old custom curves. So take off RGB and just work in the limiters. So let's put a little bit of curve here. And again, let's bring some of this overall brightness down. All right, let's bring it down even more by using our offset wheel. Go to about, uh, around about there looks pretty good, 17. So I have a good start. So let's punch it up. So control F for full screen. Boom. We're in full screen mode. That's exciting. Alt D to remove all your nodes. That's what it looked like previously. <laughs> this guy's face. Not having a good day. And then this is afterwards. I've already got this nice looking low contrasty look. Looks pretty good. But let's make about two more nodes. And then we're pretty much finished. And this will bring this whole clip together. So control S to make a serial node. Now, what we're going to do here, we're just going to make it a little bit darker and we're going to push a little bit of green into these shadows. And then in our next node, we're going to push a little bit of warmth into these highlights. So how do we do that? Well, let's go to our qualifier and let's take off hue and saturation. We don't need them. Now, let's bring our light all the way down, which is our highs. And then shift H to bring up our selection. Alrighty, so as you can see, we've got our selection taking off these highs or the whites, but we need to take off a bit more on this face. Let's bring it down a little bit. Now let's soften it right out to make it more natural looking. And let's make it even softer. Really clean it up. You can always come back to this, so don't stress. Make it even softer. Take our selection off, Shift H. Alrighty, so what we're going to do, we're going to make it a little bit darker. I'm going to add a little bit of green. So first things first, let's add a little bit of green to these shadows. Something about, wee, it's way too much. Something about there looks pretty good. And we're not going to go too extreme, that's fine. Now let's add some contrast. Let's darken it right out. So that looks really good. Uh, even a little bit more. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So this is before and this is afterwards. Now we have this nice looking image. Now we need to separate the skin and the darker areas. And also what we should do to get that really deep, shallow focus, let's soften up all these blacks. Come to your blur and then just bring it up a little bit. Now we have this really shallow depth of field look. So before, afterwards, looking pretty good. So now what we're going to do, we're going to build an outside node. So an outside node is everything we didn't select 
in the previous node. So what we're going to do here is we're going to sharpen it up and then we're going to push some warmth into those mid-tones. Now we're going to go to the gamma to do this actually. We just want to do a little bit. We don't want to go too crazy because otherwise it's going to be really orange and it's going to look a little bit pox. So just push a little bit in there and then push a little bit of tealy blue into those highlights to help break it up. Alrighty, so you might be able to pick it up. This is beforehand and this is afterwards. Now, I think the problem is, is that we've probably gone a bit too far in the previous node. So let's give that a fix. So let's go back to this little node. Shift H. And I feel like we need to soften it up a little bit more. I think we're too much into the overall image. So let's bring it down. I'll bring those highs down a little bit. And that'll help to get away from those skin tones more. So maybe something about like that. And really, really soften it out. Alrighty, so that's looking a lot better. Sorry, this is without the node. And then this is with the node on. Now, I think what we need to do, because this whole clip is pretty soft, let's be honest. So what we need to do, I'm going to sharpen up even more. So let's bring it right down. Alrighty, so that looks a lot better. The only one thing I would say we should do is maybe take a little bit of green out of these shadows. Go back to our second node. And let's push up some of those shadows just a little bit. Put a little bit of green in there, but not too much. And then let's go to our low range. So we can control what part of these shadows we want to get in. So 154. So let's have a look. Let's find a part that's in focus before we start bragging about the image. So I've gone from this look here, which really had no contrast and no overall look to it to this look here. Also, one thing to note is that the entire time we've done this grade, we actually haven't added any saturation. Now, I didn't want to add saturation because I really wanted that kind of washed out, kind of moody vibe to it. So if we were to add saturation, I feel like it would really take away from the image. Let's have a look. So let's just come down the old saturation. Even chucking a smaller man in say about 60 now let's bring it up so that's our image before saturation and then that's our image after saturation now of course we could go in and we could desaturate some of these orange and then keep that greeny vibe but overall i feel like this image works so much better without that saturation but again that's just me you can do whatever grade you want completely up to you guys anyway so that's it that's your Saturday night grade, or my Saturday night grade. I have no idea when you're watching this. But if you did watch it and you did enjoy it, make sure to chuck a subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I've been Drew from Gingo Productions. I hope you're having a more interesting Saturday night than me. And have a great day or night if you're watching at night. Thanks.